We're kicking things off with Backyard Olympics, like only Zara can do. Zara is here with her family, and it's time to let the games begin. Hey, Zara. I want you to walk us through how you made, how you're making the Olympics happen uh, in your yard, starting with the decorations. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so half the fun is just getting the place ready, making it feel like the Olympics festive. So we made some torches. So we've got Ahmed and Asya here showing off their torches, simple paper towel rolls, tissue paper, and then we each picked a flag. Asya, what flag did you pick? Canada. Canada, right? What did you pick, Ahmed? I picked Switzerland because it was easiest to draw. Easy to make. And then I picked Kenya because that's where my family is from. So really fun to just even get a little bit of geography going and coloring the flags and figuring out the colors of the Olympic rings. And we have the rings behind us and a flag just to make it feel like it's super festive and Olympics. How'd you make the torches? This is just like a, a paper towel roll. I just wrapped just a white piece of paper, got the kids to make the rings. And then this is just tissue paper, three different colors to add the flame, super simple. And then the flags, just a simple piece of paper. They colored it in. And then we put a chopstick or a yeah. pencil at the back. So Asia's idea was to put a chopstick at the back and tape it back. Like the true mom she is, she made it educational. <laughs> so they did the geography with the flags and you got the rings exactly. behind you. So you've got the decorations going on. I love that. The flags look great. Okay, let's get to the games. Um, you know I love a little friendly competition. So what have you got planned for it? So we put up a little bit of a line. They can start with just throwing the ball into the cup. Go, and then Amma's turn. And then you can move it a little bit further as well. And then the next thing they're gonna do are long jumps, because I know you love track and field. Track and field is my favorite part of the Olympics as well. There we go. And then go for it, Asia. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> You know, I'm not surprised at all to see how athletic your kids are. I mean, mommy's training all the time and they're training with you all the time. So it makes perfect sense that they can leap like a puma like that. That's incredible. <laughs> they came up with these themselves. There you go. Excellent. And then the last thing you guys are gonna run through together. You're gonna run through together in the finish right line. Right Ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of competition going there. <laughs> and you can sort of go around and do that circuit a few times, can't you, Zara? Sure, you can set it up like a little bit of, uh, of an obstacle course and get them doing different things. Just keep them moving. <laughs> now, of course, there wouldn't be an Olympics without the medals. So shall we do a medal ceremony? Yes. Grab the medals that you have. The kids had fun running around the house and grabbing all the different medals that they have. And if you can't, you can just grab something simple like a mason jar lid. I say, come here. And then you can put, there we go. She's got her medal. Thank you for that. For sure.